for today's video i figured i'd go magnet fish old frog hole i've had requests to go do that um i told a story a while back about walking my dog down through this large uh storage area down here and it's surrounded by a flood ditch and a green belt that goes to the middle of town this is near the ozark national forest and uh, we were walking one night about one in the morning or so and uh, there's a flood ditch that goes all the way up here and we were walking down here come up the driveway and we got right up over here and something screamed it sounded like a cross between a human and some kind of wild beast the closest thing i could find on the internet was actually a little tiny fox a fox can make some enormous noises but it still wasn't right but anyways the next morning i woke up and out here i smelled like like 10 times a tomcat and i figured my neighbor would have cleaned it up but here it is <laughs> this is maybe eight months ago and something peed right here and actually I don't know if it's changed the color of the concrete or if that's just a stain. But uh, it was stinky. It's like 10, you ever smell a tomcat? It's like 10 times a tomcat. And that happened that night. It felt like something trapped us up out of there. But uh, long story short, from what I know about tomcats, and I know quite a bit, is the, when they, they usually will spray, you know, they'll like turn around and spray it all over the place spray it on this chair or that bike or this chair here they usually won't just leave a puddle like that so it's kind of odd uh for about 20 years people have been reporting tomcats or tomcats, <laughs> mountain lions around here and wild fish and game just uh laugh at them they accuse them of seeing people's house cats out in the woods and don't know what they're looking at but recently they've proven there's mountain lions around here and uh i don't know <laughs> felt like something tracked us out of there cats wouldn't do that but something did it it was definitely a sound i'd never heard and uh that was really stinky but uh make sure your imagination starts to run anyways we're gonna go over here so there used to be kind of a road through here i think the gas company built a temporary road through here it used to be about 10 feet wide. It's all overgrown now. There used to still be a trail here. There's homeless camps in these woods, I know. There used to be a big one right here. Up in there. I heard people coughing up in the woods a couple months ago. I think they've moved their camp back into the forest a little bit. When I say green belt, it might be a little different definition. <laughs> this is someone else's definition of green belt. It's basically a forest. It's just not the national forest. Well, I'll turn the camera off and get through here. I haven't been down here for a couple years. This is way too overgrown to get through. Although, this is a new trail here. I think that homeless people are accessing the camp up here from the road down here. So uh, I'm actually going to, I think this is going to go out to the street. So I'm going to go around and see if I can get to it from another, from another side. Uh, I probably don't want to go up there. Frog holes over here, about 50 yards, dense. Dense. I never would have found it to begin with had the gas company not made a temporary road through here. This is the road. <laughs> Let's see if this trail takes us. This is such a well-worn trail. It's kind of sketchy. I'm kind of nervous what I might come across. Someone has intentionally cleared this trail through here. I don't think the 
tires on my scooter gonna let me go up there the streets right up there so uh, I'm kind of in a bad situation now I'm gonna have to go all the way back out and around see if I can get in there another way okay this way doesn't have all the little trees and stuff ouch who has thorns <laughs> um shoot See if I'm gonna be able to make this video or not. It's these little thorn trees, little thorn vines that get you. Take those. driving through that uh, I don't want to park here because someone might steal my scooter hmm well let's go have a look it's a little sketchy for my likings So uh, I'll set up a camera right here in case someone takes off with my scooter and they pick these thorns out of my knuckles. <laughs> I'm missing my bark busters. Mm. I'll set this camera off into the woods here. Keep an eye on things. Look how strong that magnet is. <laughs> I'll keep it in this box so it doesn't get stuck to stuff. Yikes. Let's see if we can uh, get up here and walk in there. What was that? Dang Bigfoots! Dang it! I'm definitely not gonna make it to old frog hole now. Just gonna go home. I don't know if I should go that way. I probably shouldn't go that way. Let's go up down the sidewalk.